In this video, we're going to have a look at drawing H3 hexagons using IconMap Pro in Power BI. Now, in this report at the moment, uh, we're showing as different size circles on our report uh, all of the crimes that occurred in London during one month in 2023. Now, it's it's a lot of circles all plotted on the map, and perhaps it's not the best way of showing those concentrated areas of where the most crimes have occurred. Now, one technique that we can use is to break up um, our map equally into hexagons and then shade those hexagons based on the number of crimes that have occurred within each one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off circles and I'm going to turn on H3, and then back in my field configuration, all I'm going to do is move the crown and the crime count uh, field and drag it instead into H3 weight. And now straight away, you can see that we get um, our heat map of hexagons. So let's just nip over and have a look at the configuration options for this quickly. So let me expand out data layers. And you can see we've got H3 configuration. And we can change the resolution of this. So at the moment, we've got quite small polygons. We, If we're looking at you know, a whole country area, we might want to zoom out and expand that to a bigger number. And then we should get bigger polygons. It's also worth noting that I've, um, I've got 60,000 rows of data selected here. Um, expanding on the default 30,000 rows of data because more than um, 30,000 crimes occurred in London uh, during uh, the period of my data. Um, now, if we want to change um, this resolution dynamically, you'll notice that it allows us to uh, use conditional formatting here. So what I'm quickly going to do, I'm going to add a new parameter here based on a numeric range. So this is standard Power BI functionality. Just wait for the dialog box to pop up. Here we go. And we're going to set a new numeric range. We're going to call it, let's just call it, I don't know, level of detail. It's going to be a whole number. Uh, and let's make that a number between 1 and 10. And let's default it to 5, increment to 1, and we'll leave the add slicer to this page tick box selected. Hit create. And then hopefully it will create that new field here in our data set and add a slicer onto our report page for us. Here we go. And so I can slide that left and right and we'll get um, a number between 1 and 10. So back here in IconMap Pro, let me go back into our H3 configuration. And in the conditional formatting options, I can choose that new level of detail option that we've created here. And now, as I drag my slicer to the left or right, we'll get those hexagons appearing at um, more or less detail as I, I drag the slicer to the left and right. Um, let's put that back somewhere in the middle. Um, also worth noting here that you can configure the formatting on these these hexagons too, by setting a start, mid and end colour. So if you don't like the colour formatting that I've selected here, of course we can we can tweak that into something a little bit different if we want to. Okay, so this is H3 hexagons inside of IconMap Pro for Power BI.